Hey guys, I know I've talked about having like a massive video to-do list, a bunch of things I want to do videos on, things I'm really excited about, but every so often something just instantly jumps the list because I am that pumped to share it with you. So that's the situation today. I have had my hands on these products for a little over a week. I've had a chance to experiment and I am really impressed and surprised with some of the things I have. So here's the deal. I ordered off of ikatehouse.com. Um, that's a website. I've only ordered from one time before and I had a good experience so I'm like let's check this out again and I ended up with some palettes that I really freaking love like that was most of what I got everything was really inexpensive like under ten dollars for the most part so this is kind of like a haul of what I ended up with but I also wanted to point out a lot of things from a review perspective too but one more thing before I get started a couple of things with makeup brands that I think turn around and end up costing the consumer more um, outside of just the quality of the product itself can be the packaging and also the advertising that the company does. Those added costs I think can come back to those of us who are buying the products. And here I'm just putting it out there, the packaging is not great on all these things. Some of it's fine, but you know, it's not above and beyond. And number two, these are not the kinds of brands you're seeing like on TV commercials and in magazines. And another point to be aware of is I don't think these brands are known for using any exceptionally expensive ingredients in their products either. Just putting that out there, but I wanted to share what I got because I'm really excited about it. Um, first off, this palette. This is from a brand called Beauty Treats. I've tried nothing from this brand until just recently. And when I saw this palette online, um, it made me think of two palettes in one, the Visart uh, Neutral Matte Palette and also the Editorial Bright Matte Palette. I don't own either of those, but I've stocked Visart palettes long enough to know that that's kind of what they look like. Like, I'm not saying this is a shade for shade dupe by any means. I'm not saying the quality is as good, but it seems like it's really been fashioned after those palettes, putting a bunch of shades all in one, though. This does feel like kind of a bulky palette, but, I mean, you are getting 24 shades and they are pretty generously sized. It says 24 matte. I just want to point out the shades that actually aren't matte. <laughs> Not everything is matte. This one has a little shimmer. These two right here, these brights are kind of a satin finish. Just a little bit of a satin finish in this plum as well. Um, not that it's making a huge difference with the finish on the eyes and whatnot, but just sharing that. And when I first got this and swatched it out, I thought, uh, you know, I don't know. Some of these things seemed a little sheer. I didn't know if I was going to like it. I really had to use it on the eyes first, which I shared a look on Snapchat, and I was so happy with the way it turned out. I love some of these matte shades that are in here, including these kind of cool plummy grays and pairing those with the more orangey colors. I think that was a gorgeous lid look. And then, you know, a lower lash line pop with this blue was a lot of fun. I also worked in some of this shade. You've got a really solid, beautiful orange in here. So this palette was $5.99. So I think that's kind of ridiculous and I was really happy with it. Not absolutely everything I got was a slam dunk, let's be honest here. So I've got a couple more palettes from Beauty Treats and these came in a duo. So it was $9.99 to get both of them and I assume if you wanted to get them separately they'd probably be like about $5.99 like that last palette. But I have the Heart Love Blusher palette and then this is the Heart Love Correction palette. So these kind of look like play makeup. But you know me, if it works and it turns out to be phenomenal, I, I'm not going to knock the packaging or the style or whatever but I have been playing with this color correction palette and these creams are so like rock hard and solid like you can't get a lot off when you dip your finger in or a brush in you just can't get enough product off to actually do a lot of coverage on your skin I don't know I just I was not really impressed the product I could lift off of this palette seemed a little bit thin and slippery and greasy the blush palette with those heart shapes this kind of looks like play makeup too but this one whoo this is this is some of the brightest blush I have ever tried. Some of the other most pigmented, wildly bright blushes I own are from a brand called La Femme. They sell some blush singles that are just knock your socks off bright, and these seem like that same formula. Everything is bright in this palette. You think you're going to go for one of these two and look subtle? Um, 
no. I was messing around with these the other day and I'm saying I tapped into these, I tapped off the excess, I tapped it on my hand, I even brushed it off on my hand and I felt like I still had a little too much on my cheeks. So if you want to go there with your blushes, I mean this is intense, intense, intense colors. Uh, they're all completely matte. Some of them as you can see could go very, very bright. If you're a deep skin tone and you struggle to make blushes show up on your skin, you might fall in love with this. For me it almost requires a little bit too much restraint in application to be particularly enjoyable and I'm kind of, I don't know, it's a risky one <laughs> because you go into it and you are going to get a lot of color on your cheeks, I feel like, no matter what you do. So I do think this is the strength of this little duo and I'm pretty sure they're available individually if this idea does really appeal to you. But regardless of my personal take on that palette, I do think it's very good quality and unexpectedly pigmented palette for the price. Strobing highlighter palette for $3.99 and these are pretty generously sized pans. They look like about the size of a MAC blush there. And what it is, is three creams and three powders across the bottom. So varying tones. You've got like a little bit of a goldeny cream. This one shows up a little bit pinky. I know it looks like straight up white, but it's got a little bit of a pink tone. And then this one is the one I'm wearing today and it's more peachy. I took this and I kind of just patted it on my cheeks. And then I took this middle shade, which is kind of a sunshiny, warm highlight and topped it off and I'm getting an awesome glow there. Oh, I put a little bit of this on top as well. Super white highlight. So if you want to experiment with strobing, both cream and powder highlights, it's kind of convenient with it all in one. Although a little part of me doesn't love it when cream and powder are combined in a palette because I always worry about the powder drifting into the creams. But what did I tell you? It's $3.99. The packaging is not going to be like next level innovation here. And, and one other thing about these creams, I really do feel the need to kind of swirl my fingers in it a little bit, get the product warmed up, almost like tap my fingers together, and then just take it onto my cheekbones with my finger. I do think these benefit from a little bit of warmth, like breaking the product down a little bit. Um, but once you get them on there, I mean, I think they look great. Now, I believe that's all I have from this line. Everything else is from City Color. And City Color was the stuff from this haul that I did have a little bit of experience with, and so I expected it to be good, and it did not disappoint. So that's the good news. Um, they have a barely exposed palette. I've talked about that before. It looks like this, only it's a little bit darker outer packaging, and it's basically like a dupe of the Naked One palette. So I saw when I was shopping online that they had this barely exposed too. So it's only $5.99. You don't get massive amounts of shadow in here. Um, the outer packaging is pretty solid, I must say. But I kind of like how this one doesn't appear to be fashioned after any one particular palette. Like, they have some rosy shades. It kind of in a few places makes you think Naked 3, but then there's this fun like bronzy warmth in here as well that I really like. So I think this is a gorgeous palette. You aren't loaded with mattes. The two really matte shades in here are this rose, that deep kind of raspberry rosy shade, and this dark brown. But you've got a lot of shimmery pops and something about the shimmery shades in these various city color eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to talk about. Like they are downright creamy. I don't know if you've heard people talk talking about the singles that City Color has or if you've tried them yourself and they feel like a almost cream and powder mix. Like there's some moisture in there, very smooth to the touch and any shimmers or metallics that you see in these palettes um, definitely have that feel. The mattes or the ones that are just like a little bit of a satiny finish, those while they're still nicely pigmented they feel more like a standard eyeshadow. But I think this is a beautiful palette because it combines kind of the best of both worlds to me because I love the bronzy colors but with a lot of rose palettes you just end up getting straight up rosiness. And I like having those two worlds kind of combined in one. I love that there's a dark plum in there too. A couple of other city color palettes that I got. This one is called Figtastic. I had heard about this one before and I was hoping I would run into it at five below, but I hadn't seen it there. And um, this, the colors just absolutely speak to me here. This is not quite so neutral as this. I mean, see how everything in here, even though there are rose colors, it's still a little more earth toned. The stuff in here has some more bright pops to it. So you've got those fabulous shimmery textures that I've mentioned, like with this raspberry color, that beautiful purple. Um, there's a great gold in here. So really fun color selection in this palette. The packaging kind of annoys me because this 
this is like a flexible, it, it's not a solid plastic right there. And that concerns me just because if I stacked something on top of it, if I was traveling and something really bumped into that, I would kind of worry that it might mess up the eyeshadows. So not the greatest packaging here, but that was only um, $8.99. And then $9.99, the Harvest Moon palette. I thought it was a beautiful palette, but just a little, a little reason extra why I got it was underneath the Harvest Moon, standing on your shoes in my bare feet. Anytime I look at this, I think of the song Heartbeat because of the Harvest Moon line, but anyways. Neutral palette, it's more neutral, it's more earthy compared to the Figtastic. I'm wearing it today, I've just got a lot of taupey bronzy goodness happening. I've got these two shades, like a lot of this on the lid, this in the crease, um, some of this below the eye, this shade too, so just some of the deeper taupes. Oh, I also did blend out a little bit with the peachy colors um, just above the crease. It's a pretty look, but it doesn't go quite as deep and dark as the Figtastic does, and I think that makes this palette even more versatile. Plus, it has some fun kind of brighter purpley shades. Don't get me wrong, this is nice. I think it's beautiful, but if I had to pick one, I would probably go with this one. On this website, a lot of times you can buy things in kind of in bulk, you know? You can buy every shade that something's available in, and these blush quads, I paid $19.99 to have all of them, but if you want to buy them on their own, they're $5.99 each. And they are from City Color, and ta-da! It's a blush lover's paradise, I must say. This is the one, Collection 1, they're labeled 1 through 4, so I'll go through each of them for you. Everything is really richly pigmented. I would say, looking at each quad, um, there are more like wearable, easier to wear shades compared to that heart shape palette where almost everything was super duper bright. So in this collection one, it's very cool toned, pinky, almost a little bit on the berry side. Then in collection two, everything is much warmer. You're getting into some deep orangey shades. In comparison to this one, you can just see how much warmer that is. In this palette, by the way, this one shade had a teeny bit of shimmer to it. And in this one, you know, there are all so intense. Even though uh, I can see some varied finishes here, it doesn't really seem to affect like the amount of color you see coming out of these, but this one has a little sheen going on, and there's a tiny hint of some flecks of shimmer in these two shades. This one is totally matte. Now your most natural looking ones are collection three and four. So you can see collection three, more pink. This one, straight up peach. You've heard, I mean, if you guys had a dime for every time you've heard someone on YouTube say something is pinky peach, this is just 100% peach all the way. But talking about collection three for a second, I feel like you've got pink and peach, and then you've got a slightly deeper take on those same two colors right next to it over here. So I think this is very wearable. And then if you're one of those people who just knows, you know, peach blush is my wheelhouse, that's the kind of color I wanna wear all the time, this palette is really gorgeous. Um, the shades I'm wearing today are mostly this one. Um, as far as my blush color goes, I mentioned I used the strobing palette, but I've got the blush right here. Um, in this shade, and then I also blended a little bit of this even softer peach kind of just over the top of it. Blush palettes are fun like that because you can bounce around, you can customize the shades, you don't always have to wear the same thing day after day. And when all the shades are of top-notch quality in each of them, you know, it's a lot of fun. And I know I've raved about the B matte blushes from City Color. They're round, you know, like the full-size individual blushes, but I think these are an even better deal. I mean, for $5.99 getting four super pigmented shades that it's unlikely you'll run out of anytime soon. I think that's awesome. So that's all I've got for this video. It felt like a lot, um, but I just kind of wanted to share my little cheap palette success stories with you. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these brands or these palettes or others that you would recommend from that website. I do have a few like individual products that I got off the site too, but I haven't played with them enough to be able to tell you much. One thing though that I'll point out is my lip color. I got this off of iKate House and I didn't buy the whole line. <laughs> I just bought the one uh, or two. And it's by Absolute New York. It's called a Velvet Lippy. It's actually a pretty darn comfortable liquid lipstick in the shade Razzle. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you soon. Bye.